So about a month ago, I made a video on antinatalism. And in the video, I spoke about moral implications regarding procreation and antinatalism. And in that video, I also gave a suggestion to the antinatalist dilemma, a solution to the antinatalist dilemma, I should say. And that solution was euthanasia. Basically, healthcare clinics offering euthanasia to anyone who wants to painlessly take their exit from this planet. And I stand by that solution. And on that video, I actually, I read a comment and they, the comment mentioned that in Canada, they have this thing called MAID and it's an acronym. It stands for Medical Assistance in Dying. And um, it was interesting, you know, so um, it's for people that are going through certain grievances and they want a way out. You know, they're, they're tired of it. They're tired of, of this life stuff, you know. So I think it's great. I think Canada is um, making strides towards doing what's right. I think what's right is to offer people um, the option to take their leave because, you know, people do not consent to be born and things like that. You know, these are all things that I talked about in that first video. But in this video, I want to talk about the exceptions to the solution that I gave. Because like anything, I understand like people will exploit certain things, right? And this solution to the anti-natalist dilemma would be no different, you know? So, number one, I feel if a person has committed a very horrible crime, a very deplorable crime, like say they molested someone or sexually assaulted someone, I don't think this person should be eligible for youth for euthanasia. And number two, I feel like if anyone has a child, they should not be eligible for euthanasia. Now, some people may say, well, if a person wants out, you know, they want to leave this planet, they're tired of living, they're not fit to be a parent anyway. And to be honest, that's a that's a pretty good argument. You know, but I, I look at it like this. If you're going to be irresponsible enough to bring life into this world, then you shouldn't have the option of taking your leave. Yes, life can be a very painful thing. But what you did now is you subjected another life form to this pain and suffering. And then, you know, you're also going to have the crowd that'll say, well, not everybody suffers. You know, some people enjoy life and things like that. And that's true. There are people that certainly enjoy life. Um, you know, some people, they skate on by and they just have a blissful, you know, merry old time, you know, as they say. But at the end of the day, you're still gambling with someone's life because it's a gamble. You don't really know what your life will turn out to be. Yeah. And so I think if, if you're bringing life forms into this planet, that's gambling. You don't want to bring someone into this world and just hope that things will be all right hope that they will not be subjected to pain and suffering and the list goes on all the bad things we know this planet has to offer right so yeah those are i guess you i guess um you should say or i should say the stipulations regarding the solution to the anti-natalist dilemma i don't think a person that has committed very horrible crimes and contributed to the to all of the the terrible things that go on in this world i don't think this person should be eligible to just take their leave and i also don't think a person that has a child should just be able to take their leave even if you want to make the argument that this person is not fit to be a, a be the parent that's true all right maybe they should not take care of that kid but they still should not be able to just say you know i want out so yeah those are my um i guess the two exceptions to the anti-natalist solution and um i don't know i guess a good way to end this video is to say regardless of whether or not you're an anti-natalist or pro procreation treat people the way you want to be treated you know, to be honest with you, I don't really 
you know, you have a crowd of people that'll say it's wrong to not give birth and we were put on this planet to give birth and they're basically arguing um, from the standpoint of capability. I call it the capability fallacy or the the fallacy of, capa- fallacy of capability. We're capable, therefore we should be doing it. And I don't agree with that. Just because we're capable of procreating doesn't necessarily mean we should. You know, there are lots of species that once lived on this planet that no longer live on this planet they're extinct for all we know the human species should go extinct as well because out of all species on this planet human beings do the most damage you know you never know maybe in order to transcend beyond all of the terrible things that humans are constantly doing to each other and to this planet they need to collectively say hey maybe we should stop giving birth and that way maybe they can transcend to another dimension you never know the possibilities are endless right but I feel like as long as people are going to continue to give birth and engage in this procreation shit we should at minimum encourage people to treat others the way that they want to be treated 